Now on. It's the gate. Just at the point of Messias Chain is that the Chain is always in the other person. So the one who needs the Chain asks uh, the most likely Chain of the person they meet for that thing that they would give them the Chain Nam. Yeah? yeah? They'll give it to them just, just out of Chain, not wanting anything in return. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, I don't know what further what the no, connection no, was right now. I'm oh, very good. Okay, now I'm coming to the deeper place. Where did Yosef get this Torah of giving up his Yiddishkeit, his Kedusha? As at Amenek Zastun. Yeah. So I said you learned it from Rocha. Rocha gave up her Yiddishkeit for Leia. Because Rochel didn't know that Jacob would marry her. So she mamish gave up Kedusha's Jacob to do somebody a favor. So, um, remember it says by Doris S. Jönesen, um, uh, we uh, he loved me more than the women. Yeah. The matter says it's Rochel and Leia. Can you imagine Jönesen giving up his kingdom? What kind of Kedusha he would have? If Jönesen had Chavuz was said by Melech Yisrael. And in the most probably, it was on the level that if I was angespart in Himmel, you know, he would have had it, right? If, if he had no choice, what would have been Melech Yisrael to him, you know? Obviously, Jönesen, Jönesen could have gotten it, you know? Shaul was also when I can't get him in heaven. Jönesen probably would have, could have gotten it. Could have gotten it together to fix the whole thing of Shola Melech and, and bring the Melucha to Bnei Rochel. And he didn't do it because... So this is the Gede we have from Rochel and Leia. Why is that? Because he's, uh, Rochel gave up all her Yiddish characters. She didn't know that Jacob would ever marry her. So she mamish gave up Kedusha Leilam word, you know? Just to do Ro Leia a favor. So this is what Jonathan did. So when David Melech was... Uh, uh, eulogizing Yonis and he says, you, you love me more than, than the women. But the Maja says, who are the women? He says, Rochel and Leia. Meaning to say, because you love me more than Rochel and because Rochel finally got back to it, right? But mm -hmm. Yonis and gave it up forever. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, so I want to say something very strong. That, uh, yeah, the difference between the Torah of the nine months and the Torah of, 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 of Hasina is like this. In Hasina I can only tell you what you should do. And if you don't, if you don't do it, it's an Avera. On the Torah of the nine months, ultimately you don't know what all your Averas were leading to. You know. Something else. You know. There's a different kind of Torah. In the Torah of the nine months it doesn't say this is forbidden. This, I, I don't know the Torah because this is already like touching Mashiach's Torah. It's, it's the closest to Mashiach's Torah you can get. For the individual. For the, for the individual. Right. So I want to say something like this. Yosef at Tzadik, obviously he was Zorcher to walk with the Eden 40 years through the desert. You know? What does it mean? That he was teaching them the Torah of the way. Mashiach is in Eretz Yisrael, but Mashiach is when you get there. But Yosef at Tzadik is teaching the Torah of the way. And now listen, this is another Torah which I have to add, although I'm sh I think that will be already in the book of Barbara, but it doesn't matter because you can repeat one thing. The whole thing between Ephraim and Menashe, I don't know if I told you. Menashe is Kineshan and Akim is on you. Everything you do wrong, how do you do tshuva? You forget what you did wrong. Ephraim and Akim bears on you is that uh, on the country, I don't forget anything. So I want to say like this, on the Torah, on the Torah, how do you do tshuva on, on, on the Mount Sinai Torah? But the tshuva is to forget. Mm -hmm. On the Torah of the nine months level is that Mamish, I see what where all the avails were leading me ultimately. So I can I cannot forget and on and on the day of Ken Nishabah to remember this the Torah of Elam Ken Right. Okay. Now listen to this. Um, I want to say the highest Torah. Why is Yosef at Tzaddik? 
where I see the one who's, who's Torah of the nine months because there is nobody in the world who was Takamamish never knew. Never. Yosef at Tzadik was Takamamish never knew. He never did Naver. Mm. What is the biggest, what's the biggest, what's the biggest schar a can give a Tzadik who never did Naver? That he should become the rebel of this Torah of an Balaver. Of, of the Torah of the Kenner I think it's like a vowel. It's a big flip, but uh, the hair not me. You see, it's it's like Yosef. What Yosef wants to do everything for Yidden, right? Yeah. So what's what's the highest thing he, he can teach them? The, 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 that that yeah, he can teach them can this Torah, them, yeah. which even he didn't have. You know, like the boy should get what's listen. If I did it, it's not a gilum in my life. I went through it, right? Yosef at Sadik was so as a gilum in my life. Jacob and Jacob Vino gave him the Torah of Chen. He gave him the Torah of Elam Ken What what are you saying here? The Torah is even the, the how you are connected What's with the Torah. And Odam Aymed of the Torah Elam Ken Unless you you fail, then you learn it. Uh-huh. Okay, now listen to this, which is very strong. Which is the one Torah which you cannot learn unless you are Nishubo? So this is the way our Torah and the Ishbitz is Mamish Arabish Torah, Mamish Minishmaim. Eretz Yisrael, obviously, is so holy that you have Mamish have Kishul of the Mashiach is coming until we learn it. Then you have what? So much Nishlubo until Mashiach is coming, right? Not only as individual Nishlubo, Mamish Kray Yisrael is Nishlubo for 3,500 years until Mashiach comes and we are learning. That's, that's how much we have to know. Wow, wow. Oh, it's not to be you know? Yeah. So the thing is like this, that so, Mashiach, Mamash uh, gives us the Erz Yisrael, and, and Mashiach ben Yosef gives us the Torah, Elam Kein Nikshubo, to know that Mamash, even while we were Nikshubo, we were learning the whole time. Okay, what I want to say is for Mashiach... the brothers, and he does it to the brothers. Yeah, he does it to the brothers. Right, right. then and there he does yeah, it Yeah, that's the whole thing. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, now I want to say one more thing. There is one Yiddeler, again, there is one Yiddeler who was not Nirshul. You hear? Who was not on the level of Ken Nirshulbor, like the brothers of Yosef. Yosef Atzadik learned Avos Yisrael right from the beginning, like the Medrash says, he was begging the Rabbi Shalom, let me be a slave, because of the most of the inner Yosef, Yosef Atzadik was begging the Rabbi Shalom, let me be the Evet for them. And the brothers, Elim Ke Nikshubo, they didn't know, they didn't learn Avos Yisrael, till they were Mamash Nikshul in it, right? But Gewalt that they learned Avos Yisrael from that. But there was one person who was not Nikshul, you hear? And, uh, so I want to say, everybody knows that the most Nikshu was Yehuda, because Yehuda said, let's sell him, right? Yosef Atzadik is the rabbi who's teaching you the Torah of, of Elam Ken Nikshubo. But the Besam Niktash is in the Chalik of Binyomen and Yehuda. It's, it's in the Chalik of the Yid, Mamish, was Mamish, the Torah of Nat Nikshubo, in Yomen is Mamish at Tzadik, like says the Rekulish, his Mamish makes safe of Shochen. He never did wrong, he never failed, and he's not a rebel. And Yehuda is, is Elim Ken Nechshubo. And therefore everybody knows that before Mishkin was Mishkin Shila, Yosef at Tzadik, that he is Mamish teaching the Torah of Elim Ken Nechshubo, and he's just showing the way. And uh, by, by wow, Shila everybody wow. knows that's so important because from, yeah. a, from a guy that was Nichol, if he says he can't learn Elohim Ken Nichol, but you'll say, yeah, yeah, that's the way you talk. That's, you know, that's an oise. Yeah. You know, everybody who's Nichol says that, you know. But then to come the guy who wasn't Nichol to say... This is the way to learn it. The, uh, and, says, and then you say, he isn't saying it le manri, he isn't yeah. saying it as an excuse for himself, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm very strong. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's all there is. Yeah. So anyway, so by, everybody knows the difference between the Besam Mikdash and, and Shila is, by, Sh- by Rishleim is Mechitzes, and by Rishleim, by Shila is so the, as far as you can see. What? As far as you can see. 
So that means in Yerushalayim you can eat kochim only in the, the four walls mm -hmm. of Yerushalayim. But Shiloh, anywhere in the world, when you can stand here and see Shiloh, it's the holiness of Shiloh, right? Because Yosef has spent part of all the Because the holiness of Yosef is that he, Mamish, can see, you know, like someone who shows you the way, is shows you the way, the, the seeing, right? Yosef at Tzadik is showing you the way, the walking, the Elim Kenishu boy, you know? What else? Wait, wait, the finger is Nerdolog, you started on that. Yeah, Nerdolog, yeah. Okay, so that's what I want to say. Okay, so, um... Well, first of all, so far, I know what so far is very simple, because Mamish, it has to do with the world. I have to know the whole world. What's, what's, what's the whole idea of Mkei Nechshobo? How, how am I initial? Because I did not, my Asura, my Moros, and my Seros Adibus didn't get together. Wow. Wow. Whew. Because the world, I, I couldn't, the world, the way I saw the world, I said, listen, it doesn't make sense. But if I see from one corner of the world to the other, of my world, one corner of the world, of my world to the other, I wish the whole thing makes sense to me. But is the Memorial like the Torah of the Nine Months and the Divorce is the Torah of the Nine Months? Something like that, yeah. That's not very strong. You see what, remember, I was learning last year that Chodesh Av is called the Chodesh of Aleph Bey. Mm -hmm. The Aleph is, uh, the Aleph is the Neuch Hashem Elokecha, and the Bey is the Torah of Bereshis. Basically, the Torah of Bereshis is Mamish the Torah of, of the Nine Months. What am I doing in this world? And um, this to go back to the Meraglim. The Meraglim thought that it's better to stay in the Midbar and learn Torah. And came to the school, they said, Erzachel of Yeshvei, it's very heavy. What were they missing? According to Mount Sinai, Torah, they're right. But if they would have been connected, but if they would have known the Torah of the Mekin Nishal, but the whole Torah of Erz Yisrael, they would have known the country, Erz, it's true. It's Mamish Marshal from, from top to bottom. Then they would uh, they would have would have gotten it. So therefore, everybody knows that Yeshua, with Yeshua, Yeshua is Benoshel Yosef, and call him Mashiach Ben Yosef, Mashiach Ben Yehuda. They are the top experts of Elam Ken Nishlobo. Yehuda is the one who is Mamish Nishlobo. Right. And, and, the and, other, and, and now the listen other, to this, this is and the deepest step. Yeah. Yeah. the two of you can meet in yeah. one place, right? Listen to this, what I want to say, yeah. I give out. Everybody says, I'm coming, you're sure. Why wasn't he also davening by, 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 by the cover of us? I remember calling in, in Yeshua, are two spies, and they know Mama, something in the air, it's going to be very bad. So Yeshua, Yeshua got the bracha from Yosef, from Moshe. Moshe called Yeshua Chagat should have you. In Kolev, the son of Yehuda, he went to pray. So the way I am saying it now comes out very strong. Yosef was never Nechshu by himself. He knows the Torah as the rabbi of Afghan Nechshu, but he doesn't have to daven. But, but Kolev, who is Moshe ben Yosef, ben Yehuda, who knows the Kishlein, it's Mamish goes through it, you know. So he Mamish has to daven. But Yosef Hatzadik is the rabbi. He is the rabbi of, of the failing, and he is, and he is the one who is failing. Um, Wait, okay, so I want to say something very strong. Uh, what, just let, let me just finish, otherwise I forget. It says, Ne'er Hashem Nishma Sodom, you know? Then it says, Ne'er Mitzvah V'Tayr O'er, Ne'er Hashem Nishma Sodom. How come the Nishama is, is the light? Why isn't the Nishama like the Torah? The Nishama should be like the Torah. Even I have than the Torah, right? If the Torah is a great light, not a candle, so why shouldn't my soul be a candle, a light? But the answer is very simple. When my soul is connected to the Torah of Mount Sinai, then definitely my Torah is not a candle, my Torah is a light. But my Torah, my Neshama on the level of the nine months, is Ne'er Hashem Nishma Sodom. What's the whole thing of the Dikas Chometz? Walking around my, my, my Torah of the nine months, you know? looking for my chomets, for everything I, went, uh, oh. I did wrong. Yeah. And this is a candle. 
So by that Torah, it says, Mamish now Dalek. And I want to say something in deeper steps. Why is it when you go to wedding, the parents carry a candle to let Mamish tell the, the child, you know, Mamish, you know what I'm giving you with you on the way, Mamish, you're tired of the nine months. And also, a person is dying, why do, we, why do we walk out with candles all the time? Because this is the tower of the nine months. And this is all thing of Chava Kedisha. So I want to say, Moshe Rabbeinu is Bnei Chamur Kumlevon. Moshe Rabbeinu is a great light. But Aaron is Oymit, the Meitav is Aneiris. Aaron is candles. Aaron, Aaron Yushleimah Kodesh is the tower of the candles. At Shit Heishal Hevaz Oile Meleah. And by it says by Yas Melamish Lashino, by Yas Ken, you know, but the whole Torah of the Melbush, that basically Yos Arna Koin is Mamish Vayala Kimis Oike Torah. He saw what tough lignus God saw that the candle is the greatest thing, not the sun, not the moon, not the great light. And this is Ne'er Shabbos, Nusayah Gewalt. You know, Ne'er Shabbos from Shalom Bayez, why was, why, why was there not Shalom Bayez, remember? I told you that the Torah of the nine months is, I have to hear it directly from God. And, um, and Chava knew that she has to hear it from God, because the Torah of the nine months, Mom, she got to hear it from God himself, you know. This is the Basko Yotz Machor, Shur Bonum Shavon, this is the Torah of the nine months. And, uh, wait, wait, let me, let me see what I want to say. So why was there, was, was there no peace in the house? Because if the people are not connected to the Torah of the nine months to each other, then they hate each other. But if they know the Torah of the nine months, then mm -hmm. mommy shall love each other. Listen, I see somebody in the falling, I'm getting angry with him, I'm, I'm trying to help them. Right? Will I get angry with him? I yell at him. Kavala, I lift her up because she's crying. So basically, if the Eden would be connected to the Torah of the nine months, or in the house that would be connected, would be the biggest Shalom Bayis, right? So therefore, near Shabbos Shalom Bayis, and everybody knows that Chava, remember, Chava was the one who was, she was yearning for the Torah of the nine months. But, so the, therefore the Rav Hashem told the kind of the light of Shabbos, kind of candles. Don't make a great light. I'm giving you candles. Candles is the Torah of the nine months. And I want to say, I give out, I give out why, why do women put their hands on, on the light? Because everybody knows. How did Moshe Rabbeinu break the tablets? Because he let them go from his hands, right? So, Chava basically, she, how come that the Torah of the nine months is not connected anymore to the Torah of Mount Sinai? Because of Chava. Right? So she, she, she was, she has to fix the Torah of the nine months, and she has to fix it, the breaking of the tablets with her hands. Like Shabbos, Lucas lay name, always state, state mm -hmm. I don't know. So I want to say, when a woman holds her hands against the candles, she fixes the breaking of the tablets. Mm. And uh, Mama said, Shalom Bayes. Because, um, yeah, I'm going to make What was the sugi you were learning in Borofar? Hasmana Milsa. Just connect with this whole business. Yeah, we were learning it. Mamish connected. That when we were learning it, it was to Tzitzis and Hasmana. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do you want to say? I mean, uh, where you have taken me now with this, with this whole Indian, which is that when, when does it begin? When does the Chayis begin? Does the Chayis begin when the Malach teaches me? And from now on I have responsibility? Or does the Chayis begin from, the, from those times yeah. that, in, that I learned in the Indian Nishim? Yeah. You can make a real Machlokas. Yeah. Right, you can say, 
since you had that Torah, how could you have not could done it? Yeah. Right? How could you? And the other way is to say, I didn't really, I didn't really connect with that until yeah. after I learned it after the Nietzsche. Yeah. And so, what is it that makes me want to, to learn so much about the third of the nine months? Because something deep inside of me tells me that has one and none and will see. The what? The, the, the preparation for a person. When I intend something, I order something, do I, what's my responsibility from that moment on? What's my connection from that moment on? Is it a real act or is it not a real act? And the baby now, I mean, that's, uh, I mean, why are we even talking about, about those things with the baby present? We want very much to connect with that, with that process, right? So we are right now saying how mono milse, that the fact that we are inviting this, that we are bringing it, it's a real thing, it's a real yeah. thing. But that makes, that gives you a lot of responsibility. And I feel that that's the union of Kedusha, you know, that you feel that, yeah, that you, that you, you hear deep inside a place that says, so where it has to go to, you know, and that, that direction is Kedusha, which tells you where it has to go. And so I go again, but the Hazmona is that which, which tells you how to go, and how that, the, the whole intention of will is a way of saying, you know, I mean, you could, you could, you could say, uh, what's the point of learning, of going to any school at all, in initial, but what yeah. should, we should say to, any, to everybody, uh, you want to find out about loving a person? Mm -hmm. Did you kill anyone? You didn't kill anyone? So after you kill someone, you come and I'll teach you. Yeah. You know, I mean, we don't say that. So we start yeah. with Hatzilah, because we believe Hatzilah yeah. again, you know. Uh -huh. It's very good, really. so any, Anyway, it's... it's, it's yeah. Me. Okay, let's continue. Right. Okay. Right now I'm coming really to the the crux of the whole thing coming back to the Torah of the Dawn. The Torah of the Vow is, remember we're learning that um, Ishbutu says, when do I make a vow? I make a vow is when I mamish see I don't make it. I mamish see I can't make it anymore the way it is. Meaning to say that I realize that the Torah, mm -hmm. the Torah of Mount Sinai doesn't help me. So what's, what's, what's the Nidorm about? Basically, the Nidorm is the Torah of the nine months. Mamish, I'm taking Mamish my whole life, you know. Mamish, my words, I'm taking my whole life in my hands, and I connect my whole life to that one thing which I have to do. Um, so everybody knows the Besa Mikdash, Mamish was, Mamish, when, when did the Besa Mikdash, when did the Mekoma Mikdash become holy? By Yaakov Avino, the craziest thing is, remember, when he made a nether over it. The question is, is it crazy? The base of Mikdash is the one thing which is so holy that holds the Mechitzes, even if the is not holy. And yet the holiness of the Mikdash was given to Yaakov Avino when he was outside in Chutzlaut. Because the whole base of Mikdash is Elim Ken mm -hmm. So you got to be outside. You have to be outside because the holiness of, of the base of Mikdash is that you're connected to it while you're outside. <laughs> that you, because what's what's in Kenishwa, like I said before, what's my holiest thing? That one that even if I'm failing, I'm still with it. Can't give up. And um, remember the Torah that in the dawn, the Ishwit says this is Mamish, my own individual holiness. This is Mamish, like you like, my own Torah. This is Mamish, the highest Torah there is. And um, so I want to say something very beautiful for my holy daughter Nadala, that um, you can have children 
on the level of Mount Sinai, that says in the Torah, you must have children, so you have children. Or you can have children on the level of Avar Mamish. Chana was the first one, but he did a lemur, that she, Mamish, says, I must have children, you know, on a nether level, on her nine months level. So therefore she had a son Shmuel, who found David HaMelech, Hechmut Sosipistai, Elim Kenich Shabbat, the whole thing. And, um, basically, everybody knows that Koirach made a toast because he saw Shmuel as his grandson. What did Koirach see? Koirach thought that Moshe and Aaron are very good on the Torah of Mount Sinai. But I am on the level of the nine months because I'm the grandfather of Shmuel. Mm-hmm. But he didn't know that the whole thing of Shmuel is Elim Ken because he was the Nirshul. Kair was like the Mishra made Shmuel so holy. Oh, well, oh, that's such a fantastic paradox. Yeah, this is so that. beautiful. Okay. Uh, it's Shmuel who is serving as priest. And he comes out because his mother made the vow. Now, his mother felt that I need this child, and I want to give him to the Rabbeinu and I'm, and that's, uh, without that, my life is no life, you know. Okay. So, so they begot, uh, out of that, Shmuel. Okay. Shmuel is the one who, in whose power it is to connect us with Mashiach, because he anointed David. So you get a sense of the great link that Shmuel okay. is, okay? His grandfather is Korah. I didn't know that. That's yeah. what Shlomo That's the whole thing, introduced. Right? So when, so Korach, seeing that greatness that is in, in that Torah, mm-hmm. which says, he, so he figures that Shmuel, right, who represents that, that Torah. No, which Torah, what? Korach saw what? Oh, yeah, Korach saw that Shmuel is his grandson. His, his grandson. Yeah. He's greater than Moshe and Am, because Moshe and Am, you keep on going, brother? So, and that was, that was the connection that, that he had to, to nine months to him, right? And nine months to him is the kind of, of to him that you get prepared for in what your struggle of failings dur- during life is going to be all about, right? Mm-hmm. And that's the shape of the soul to come. Mm-hmm. Right. So, when Kirch, so Kirch figured, therefore, he should be able to have the right to lord it over Moshe and over Am, because uh, ultimately his Torah wins. But since it happens also that one of the nature things of that Torah is that failure teaches, right? So there has to be someone who has to be a failure, and what Korach yeah. overlooked was that he was going to be that yeah. failure that would teach his grandchild, and that is and so fantastic, a like a koan. Mm-hmm. A total maybe a strip of, of yes and no. Well, okay. Weiter, weiter. Hold it, just let me just look at it. Over. Brother, is he coming soon or not? Yeah, I think so. If it's, if we are over. Want a new tape? Yeah, okay.